Hello, I'm Zach Zdanek, and I'm here with Help Desk with Joe, with Joe McDonald from A&M Digital Technologies for our weekly technology update show, where Joe gives us tips about all kinds of different technology that we can use today, from TVs to computers to the handheld gadgets that everybody has. And today, with a Memorial Day weekend fast approaching and a summer travel season, we have a very appropriate topic to talk about with Joe. We have travel tech tips with Joe yes. uh, for today. And um, to start off, one of the things which is very important to us as a patch program when we're dealing with information with the school system, the Department of Education, is backing up our data. And uh, how, how important is that and how can you do that? What are some tricks to doing that, Joe? Well, the most important thing, anytime you're with electronic devices backing it up, but it's most important to back it up before you travel. And the offset of chance of your laptop or phone, you drop it, tear it up, or in the unfortunate event it gets lost or stolen, at least you have that data backed up and have a copy of it if you need it. And I know one big important thing with that is people go on these vacations, take a lot of pictures digitally. Right. Now you don't have the film that you right. get developed, so you got all your pictures are on your computer. If you don't back that up, you can lose all those, right? right? What are, what are uh, some of the best ways to go about that, to back up that data, whether it be over, uh, there's many different ways, whether it's kind of a machinery you take with you, backups, or you can do it on the internet, right? Right. You can actually hook it up to your external hard drive, back it up that way, or a lot of people use just Facebook as their backup photo album, because you can download the pictures off Facebook, right. or web use websites like Smug Mug, where you can upload everything to there, and it's all saved right. on somebody else's server. Absolutely, and then you can go back and get it any time or from any location, right? right? With any device that you have on you. Right. Absolutely. Uh, another thing that's important when you're going on these trips is packing and organizing all your gear you want to take. If you got cameras, if you got your laptops or your netbooks or your iPads or whatever you may have nowadays. Right. Well, and with new, the phones today, there's actually apps where you can download, it's called like a package planner or you can make sure that you not only have your phone and your laptop, but you have your socks and your underwear too. <laughs> right, that's awesome, that's what I need. I'm horrible at organizing my planning trip. I'm one of those guys that just opens the bag and starts throwing balled up <laughs> socks and clothes in there. But now you can have it all planned out and uh, I know a lot of people do that anyways and are meticulous about how they do that and list what they're gonna bring. Right. Now there's all these apps and digital technology to do that, it's wonderful. I need to <laughs> hit that up before my next trip, <laughs> absolutely. Um, one of, this one's huge. I know everybody is going to love this one. One of the ways you can uh, really improve your trip and financially improve your trip is to find cheap gas while you're on your trip. How right. do you do that? Well, you can take your smartphone and there's all kinds of apps, but the one I recommend is Gas Buddy. You open it up here and while it's loading, it'll ask you, do you want to use your GPS location? And you enable that and you push, push this big green button and it starts doing a search of all the gas stations near where you're at and starts giving you the you prices. Gas prices. Wow, that's unbelievable. You know, right here, it gives us within the 30 mile radius all the gas stations with their gas prices. Right, so you can go through and uh, keep that butt, keep your trip within budget by checking out and right now the gas prices have gone up so all the more important, <laughs> go check those. Uh, such a neat thing with all the apps that they have now and how quickly that happens compared to before. You might have had a site that you could do that, but you had to go search it on the internet and right. do that. Now with the app, boom, it's there at your fingertips. Right. One of the other things you were talking about, another financial uh, way of saving money on your trip is to look for deals around what you're doing, and you can do that as well. Right. There, there's one program called Foursquare, and in, a lot of people use it for social media. They link it up with their Facebook page and say, hey, I've been here and I've been there, letting their friends know where they've been. But right. one nice thing you can do is where you can do a check-in. So when you go to like a grocery store, you can hit check-in and say, yeah, I've been here. And then you can leave a tip to say, hey, this is a good place to go or stay away from this place. A lot of people do that. Or you can do a, do a browse and see what all's around you is available. Right, that's one of the things uh, I do. I do a lot of going around the campgrounds or um, traveling to fish as much as possible. But one of the things I use that for, uh, like you said, you can go on some of these sites and look at the recommendations and I think other than going on the hotel website, for instance, right. where <laughs> hopefully they're going to put good recommendations or they might edit their recommendations, right. where you go on some of these sites, you're going to get the real deal and you can look through. And I know myself already traveling to another place. I've looked on there and found a place that looked cheap 
And I was like, ah, it might be kind of <laughs> low budget or sketchy. I got on there and the reviews were outstanding for right. it and saying this is cheap, but it's clean and it's nice. And those are one of the ways that when you're traveling, you use the technology. It's just wonderful. Right. And a lot of businesses are actually taking advantage of this with the Foursquare. They say check in here and if like you check in the restaurant, you get a free side dish. That's what I was wondering. Or so much off of your purchase. Absolutely. And that, that's something else too. Uh, when you're traveling in an area, there's coupons and things. They right. used to do those little coupon booklets when you go to right. like Myrtle Beach or an area. <laughs> now they're on your technology and they're right in your hand at all times. Yeah, you just check in, say, no, I said it's a restaurant and show your waitress, say, I get free whatever this is and they'll give you your free add-on or take so much off of your bill, whatever the coupon may be for. Awesome. Well, those are some great tips from Joe for this week. Remember when you're traveling that you have these devices with you. They can be utilized to save you money and time and hopefully, if you're like me, not get lost either. <laughs> exactly. I've had to use my <laughs> GPS for that. Well, that's this week's uh, tech tip tech tips with Joe and this week's uh, travel tech tips and we'll see Joe next week for another help desk with Joe. Thank Thanks, you. Joe McDonald and A&M Digital Technologies. And I'm Zach Sedanik with the Patch 21st Century Program in Roan County.